just kidding. <laughs> that was fucked. <laughs> so guess what's guess who's coming back who looks really good and is hopeful to play in the summer league. We'll talk about some summer league rosters in a second. But Chet Holmgren has recovered from the list rank injury, and according to Sam Presti, looks good. The front office executive says Holmgren has been working out daily, and that he ho- that OKC hopes he'll play in the summer league. He's entering his second year of his rookie scale contract because he didn't play in a game last year. Chet Holmgren's eligible to win the 2024 Rookie of the Year. Will Victor Wembanyama be squandered? Rookie of the Year rights because Chet Holmgren's going to pull a Blake Griffin, Ben Simmons, and be a man amongst boys. Probably not, because I would imagine Chet will be limited too. They say he got bigger. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, good. I'm, I'm glad. That's what you got to do. Uh, we've talked about how Chet. I, yeah, I, I'm not worried they didn't play his rookie season. Okay, season such a good spot, especially. But uh, I think Travis Etienne hurt his list rank his rookie year, and then. Obviously, he didn't play and came back last year and won rookie of the year um, for the Jaguar. Did he win rookie of the year? Maybe he didn't win rookie of the year, but uh, Travis Tra- Etienne. He did not win rookie of the year because the NFL doesn't work like that. They tell you, go fuck yourself. But, yeah, anyways, he had a great rookie season. And um, I I don't know if Chet – I'm going to imagine neither win rookie of the year uh, – Wow. I don't know how much Chet's going to play. I don't think Vic's going to play enough games to win Ricky Deer. Don't you need to play? Didn't they just change that? Or is that what? not a thing? You no, that's not a thing. You just, I think you just have to play 60 games. I don't think he plays 60 games. Uh, maybe he'll be at 60 games. I think 60 is probably fine. So Chet came in at 195 pounds. You want to hear what Chet Holmgren's listed at now? Um, I'm going to go 210. So maybe 215. NBA website, they still got him at 195. Okay, nothing insane. Let's see. NBA.com, still 195. I want to see if they've. Well, you don't, you have no belief? No, I know you gained weight. Okay, so this is Wikipedia. They don't have citation. He's at 209 on Wikipedia. Ooh, Rock Chris is saying 212. Um, yeah, Basketball Reference still has him at 195 pounds. Let me see if I can go to the Thunder website. Let's see, Thunder website, Chet Holmgren. Okay, wait. Wait. I'm hearing nothing that he's at 209, 212 where they got this. If anyone can tell... Okay, so somebody... I see that. Yeah, no one, no one's put out anything that he's bigger than 195 pounds yet. But except Wikipedia has him at 209, and you just said that Chris said 212. Wait, um, well, this is Paul Holmgren. Yeah, Chad Holmgren's 195. This stat. Yeah, so I wonder. I wonder if he's put on weight. That's something to think about, at least. But I think the guy's an other weird, other world talent. I mean, dude, seven foot with seven foot six wingspan. At the very least, he's gonna be better than Mo Bamba. Okay, and future bull. <laughs> and the thing is, yes, can we get the most out of his body in a physical, a more physical NBA? Will he have the core strength and the body strength to, you know, defend at a high level? And then offensively, he can shoot, he can dribble into open spaces. He's a good passer. But does he have the athleticism or the burst in terms of acceleration to do it? Does his frame function? I personally think if he's at 210, that's 15 pounds. I really think he was only 20 pounds away from being what needed to be done, like to be a successful NBA player. Like I see him, there's two ways for Chet to be great. He's either going to be a 3 and D center who's like an all-star, all-NBA level, who's an insane like Walker Kessler level rim protector while being able to shoot threes from like a cat level. You know, just 40%. That's like if everything works out. But if he just bees this like like really good rim protect, kind of like a Brooke Lopez, but more, you know, like slender and stuff, what Brooke Lopez is now, I could either see him being a guy who might thrive more as a four next to like an old school five where you just tell Chet always to stay on the perimeter. 
but I think the the idea is that he can be one of the best defenders in the NBA while also spacing the floor. And that's why I think he's exciting. I mean, that's the same thing with fucking Victor Wembanyama. Victor Wembanyama is just better. Yeah, well, if uh, if Chet's weighing 212, Evan Mobley weighed, weighed in at 215 last year. So and Evan I get, one of the Evan Mobley's players. way skinnier, way skinnier than you think. But it, it's perfect what you're saying with pairing him up with, with Jared Allen. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. If like, if we see after Chet's first season, you're like, okay, maybe he's more of an Evan Mobley than he is of a Victor Wembanyama or like Rudy Gobert frame, you know, that he fills in. Then you're oh, like, sorry, okay, dude. yeah. That, so then you go into what you're saying right there where you're like, okay, yeah. Like you're more of an Evan Mobley dude and you let's go out and get ourselves a, a Jared Allen-esque center. Let's go get Clint Capella, you know, and throw you next to Clint Capella. Does that make sense? Because you just tell Clint, stay inside, grab the rebounds, check, you just stay on the perimeter. And like, I'm confident enough if, because I think Chet, like you just said, Evan Mobley goes out onto the perimeter. That's why Evan Mobley works on defense is that he doesn't clog up the, the lane with Jared Allen. But I agree with Aaron. I don't know 230. I think, I'm thinking 220. I want him to be at 220. I feel comfortable if he is at least 220. Yeah, that'll probably be, That'll, unless he clocks in at 220 this summer, yeah, that'll probably be more of a next year thing. I'm just scared if he gets too heavy for a guy who's already not a super athletic dude, will that take away some of the burst that he had? And, you know, there we see with Zion, too much weight can be a bad thing. You know, they're, back in the day, they were always like, you can never have too much weight. But we're seeing that, yes, too much weight like is a bad thing. It can cause injuries and, you know, put – him being a bigger dude could put some pressure on his, you know, joints. Yeah. What up, TP? Yeah, I like 215 for for Chet this year. So, I kind of, our man Aaron kind of talked about something, just mentioned something that I kind of wanted to bring up to you. And I've been talking about it a lot on my channel. Personally, I bring it up a lot when we're, we're talking about the Atlanta Hawks and I'm trying to see if I uh, there's like I don't think they've ever shared the floor together but I want to see if I can find a picture of these two guys together 